Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to finish up this dungeon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. It all seems to lead to this room. And look what's in it. That looks pretty crazy. How old do you suppose this is? A thousand years? More? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it before. Who is that in the middle, do you think? Some sort of god. You, you, you're him. The second dominant of fire. Who are you? I'm back. Joshua! Stop it! Please! Stop! Joshua chose me to be his shield. He gave me his blessing and asked me to keep him safe. I should have protected him that day. It was my duty. Clive. Joshua. <laughs> I'm sorry. I failed you. Joshua died. I killed him. And I blamed another for what I did. To spare myself the guilt. 
I feared the Bai. Accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. So I ran. From everything. And now? Are you ready to accept the truth? I am. I know it won't be easy, but it's what I must do. So that Joshua's soul can finally rest in peace. No matter how bitter the truth that awaits me, I will press on. Come, Ifrit. Show me who you truly are. Harder than I thought. I was hoping I could dodge out of that, but guess not. Yeah. <sighs> 
No. Still you deny it. Even when the truth's staring right at you. Come on, Clive. Face your fears. Too slow. Garuda, lend me. I see. You'd have me learn by example. That's better. Good lordy. Better already. Ugh. 
Escape, eh? It's all right. I'm done running from you. Together, then. It's time to find out who we are. Once and for all. Show yourself, Ifrit. the truth of it now. You are not afraid. I am. That was pretty badass. Ooh, I wonder if we'll be able to make a really cool fire weapon with that. Yeah. <sighs> 
Clive, are you all right? Jill. It's nothing. I'll be fine. No more chasing shadows. The hooded man isn't here. We should go. Clive, are you sure you're all right? Whatever it is, you can tell me. <laughs> I had a hard enough time telling myself. I awakened as a dominant of fire, right here in this castle, and I've been running from it ever since. But now I know for certain who I really am. The second icon of fire, who killed my brother and burned this castle to the ground, was me, Ifrit. Clive. I took so many lives that night and destroyed so many more, including yours. And I must atone for the crimes I've committed, but not before I learn the whole truth. How can a second icon of fire even exist? And why was I chosen as its dominant? Who is the hooded man who brought us here? And what does he want? I need to know. And since I'm still breathing, I might as well make myself useful. We'll find your answers, together. I want to learn the truth, too. There'll be time enough for atonement when we're done. I was hoping you'd say that. I don't think I could do this without you. You never were one to hide from the truth, even when we were young. And you haven't changed a bit. You're wrong. I have changed. But I don't want to be that person anymore. The things she did were unforgivable. And yet... They're what brought us back together. Thank you, Jill. If he is here, then... The disturbance I felt at the care must have been... Confounded! The hour is later than I thought. Suffer the same fate. The man who delivered, who who delivered the coffer said, 
He said Sid paid him. <sighs> <sighs> You run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? <sighs> Find out where he is. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him and all his filthy brood, and send every last one of them to hell. Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord! So, what next? We return to Eastpool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. I wonder if I can go and open up this door over here. Oh, before I forget. Awesome. That's freaking cool. So is that. Holy crap, that looks cool. Um, I want to level this up. If I'm being honest, we use this quite a bit. And then I think next I'll level this up and then I'll start working on this kind of stuff over here. Maybe some of this. Yeah. Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. I'm not sure we're going to be able to... Come over here and mess with this. Yeah. Torgal ran off, so that's why I'm assuming we can't do anything with that. Oh, 
what happened here? Imperials! You'll pay for this! Ah! Remember our orders? No survivors! Who would order such a thing? It's over. It's over. That's enough. Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? Yeah. You were born a slave, and what? you'll die one! Kill all the ducal dogs! Ducal dogs? They were innocent people! Someone heal me, damn it! Well, there's a lot of these guys over here, isn't there? Kill this worm. Stay down! That's enough! Love how he just kicks the shit out of him. Put them all to the sword, Mera or no. I don't know why I find that hilarious, but I do. Stay down. Those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. My mother ordered this. Why? Clyde. I know. It can wait. If I can get out of this fire, <laughs> that would be nice. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness, I am just doing very shitty at dodging today. Not this time. A worthy opponent. Wake up! <laughs> Holy moly, he was beefy. I'm sorry, Lady Hannah. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Too late, Gav. Clive. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kubka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Let's go over here to the hideaway, and then after we get through this, we're going to end the video. To Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. So here's where we're going to end the video for the day. I want to tell everybody first and foremost, thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, 
be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.